Let me show you how experiments can help you to implement PCI-compliant credit card saving in your Magento store. There are two ways how customers in Magento store can save their credit cards for future orders. The first one is saving a card used to check out by ticking the checkbox I want to use this card for future orders. Once the order is placed, experiments allows to reuse the customer's credit card for recurring orders. The second way is using My Payments Card page in the customer's front-end account. A customer needs to click Add New Card button in order to load secure a frame credit card form provided by Xpayments. Enter his credit card details and click Create Card button. Xpayments make the authorization in background and returns result of the transaction back to Magento. If success, the customer sees a new card added. In order to save a credit card in PCI compliant manner, Xpayments authorizes amount configured in the Magento admin panel, Xpayments connect a settings page. Please note that default billing address configured by a customer in his frontend account is used to make safe card authorizations. At checkout, a customer can use a saved credit card for a new order by choosing Use Saved Payment Card Payment Method and selecting the right credit card from the displayed list. Store administrator can use customer saved credit cards to create new orders too. So, you just create a new order as usually, but at Payment Methods you select a saved customer's credit card. Once you click Submit or the button, a new payment is done via Xpayments. Now let's check how to enable PCI compliant credit card saving via Xpayments in your Magento store. Go to System Configuration Payment Methods. and scroll down to find Xpayments Payment Method settings. First of all, Xpayments Connector needs to be enabled and configured, as well as Use Saved Credit Cards Xpayments Method. In order to use this feature, a Magento-based webshop needs to be configured to use a payment gateway that supports tokenization in Xpayments. This information is available at Experiments User Manual.